Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah the Brick. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday attended the horse racing festival for the Cup of His Royal Highness's the Crown Prince Cup, which is held under the patronage of His Royal Highness at the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club racetrack. Upon his arrival, His Royal Highness was welcomed by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for his Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, President of the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club High Committee, REHC, his Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Also present were their Highnesses and Excellencies, diplomats accredited to Bahrain and horse racing fans. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, highlighted His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's unwavering support of the kingdom's equestrian sector, which has contributed to the development of Bahraini jockeys who continue to achieve success locally, regionally, and internationally. His Royal Highness highlighted the development and progress witnessed by Bahrain's equestrian sector, which has played a role in the kingdom's long-standing success in hosting regional and international horse racing competitions. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister commended the role of the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club's High Committee, chaired by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in developing and preserving the kingdom's equine heritage. His Royal Highness noted the competitiveness of the Crown Prince's Cup and that its organization reflects the kingdom's capability to host international sporting events. His Royal Highness wished the owners, trainers and jockeys from the competing stable success in their future endeavors.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister presented the trophies to the winners for imported horses to the grandchildren of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister further presented the Crown Prince's Cup for locally bred horses to Abdullah Fawzi Nas was the Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment and Deputy Chairman of the Club's Higher Committee, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, presented the Crown Prince's Cup for Oahu registered Arabian horses to trainer Fawzi Nas. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, presented the Bahrain Derby Cup to His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa following Van Halen of Al Adiyat racing winning first place in the seventh race. His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa presented the Bahrain Oaks Cup to His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa was Executive Director for Organizational Affairs Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa presented the Bahrain Turf Cl Club Cup to trainer Ali Jan. Ali Habib Qasim, a member of the REHC High Committee presented the Anchorman Cup to the grandchildren of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Isa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. And the representative of the sponsoring company presented the Hawar Cup to the winner, Hassan Mifarah Al Ajmi, and the event comprised of eight races. The Crown Princess Cup also hosted uh, the fourth round of the Bahrain International Trophy, which is sponsored by the Economic Development Board, Aluminum Bahrain Alba, Batilco, National Bank of Bahrain, Bank of Bahrain and Kuwait, El Salam Bank, GFH International Group, Saya Corp, and Bahrain Jewelry Center.
The personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, asserted that Bahrain has become one of the countries with clear achievements and imprints in the field of environmental protection locally, regionally and internationally through holding top positions at a number of important international and regional organizations. In a statement marking the Kingdom's celebration of its National Environment Day every year on February 4th, observed this year under the theme, Let's Make It Sustainable, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa said, that the kingdom's issuance of laws and legislations and commitments to international agreements have earned it a prestigious reputation and the confidence of developed organizations and countries in the field of preserving ecosystems and wildlife in a hard, healthy and growing state, especially endangered species. His Highness affirmed that Bahrain's achievements and gains in the field of environment and climate change are the fruitful outcomes of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's enlightening strategy and insightful visions, as well as the results of the ongoing support, interest, and follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King's personal representative indicated that the Bahrain National Environment Day is an opportunity to focus on developing ways of dealing with environmental and climatic challenges and meeting the needs of individuals without prejudice to the right of the future generations. He affirmed that this year's theme confirms the ongoing efforts to strengthen the SCE's role in spreading awareness of the most important environmental issues by adopting policies, strategic plans, projects and target activities that serve the community towards patterns and behaviors aimed at preserving the environment and climate change. He added that the theme also reflects the keenness of the relevant private and public institutions in the kingdom to cooperate in order to contribute to this tireless and sincere work to achieve a better life for the citizens and residents. As Ayn Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad called on everyone to join hands and invest in sustainable development and demonstrate the principles of social responsibility towards environmental issues, expressing the pride of the Supreme Council for Environment and supporting environmental initiatives and sustainable development programs, as well as its readiness to exchange bridges of cooperation with various sectors in order to unify national environmental efforts. The Kingdom of Bahrain marks the World Environment Day, which is observed today and celebrated this year under the theme We Only Have One Land, a motto which focuses on living sustainably and sheds light on the need to bring about transformational challenges to or changes to build trends towards healthier and greener lifestyles. The Kingdom of Bahrain marks the occasion alongside the rest of the world as part of the endeavors which focus on the importance of ensuring sustainable societies enjoying healthy or health and well-being. Celebrating international occasions aims to cultivate the public on important issues and boost international awareness of related topics. In this context, the Ministry of Health affirms its continuous support to all endeavors aimed at achieving the environmental goals through the implementation of various programs. The Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Kazakhstan, Mukhtar Tlioberdi, and his accompanying delegation left the Kingdom of Bahrain yesterday following a two-day visit. He was bidden farewell at Bahrain International Airport by Foreign Minister Dr. Abdelatif bin Rashid Zayani and Kazakh Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, residing in Riyadh, Berik Aryan. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, has affirmed that upholding human fraternity and strengthening the bonds of love, understanding and coexistence among members of the human family despite their diversity are basic national fundamentals and solid values under the wise approach of His Majesty the King and the policies of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Minister expressed his pride in celebrating the International Day of Human Fraternity on February 4th for the third consecutive year based on the resolution of the UN General Assembly in December 2020, which unanimously approved the initiative of Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, UAE and Egypt to proclaim the annual global occasion based on the awareness of the importance of laying the foundations for tolerance, pluralism and respect for diversity as factors that reinforced human fraternity. Dr. Zayani praised the sound human approach adopted by His Majesty King Ahmed, who established a culture of tolerance, peace, solidarity, respect for human rights, freedoms and dignity without discrimination as basic pillars in the Constitution, the National Action Charter, National Legislation and International Convenient. He also commended the pioneering royal initiatives in spreading the culture of peace and tolerance at various national, regional and international levels. The Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain affirms its adherence to its long-standing civilizational values and its constitutional principles in the consecration of the human rights, religious freedoms and peaceful coexistence and that the Kingdom will carry on its wise foreign policy in strengthening international solidarity and partnership for a more secure, peaceful and stable world. 
Information and the Government Authority IGA Chief Executive Mohammed Ali Al Qaad hailed the care and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the National Complaints and Suggestion Systems Tawassal and his ongoing follow up of the performance of government agencies and the efforts exerted by IGA to develop Tawassal. Al Qaad revealed that the authority has recently launched a new electronic service via Tawassal system and app which allows clients to evaluate the responses provided by government agencies regarding the inquiries and grievances submitted on the system within 14 days of receiving the responses. He noted that the goal of this new service is to enable government agencies to enhance liaison with the public and improve client satisfaction of the services. al Qaid noted that the key performance indicators of government agencies on Tawassal app and system are exhibiting continuous progress thanks to the directors of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. al Qaid said that adding the new service came as part of a package of updates to Tawassal which had been previously launched. He also revealed that more updates will be launched at a later stage. Al Qaid affirmed the keenness of government agencies on capitalizing on the futures of the system, which reflect their commitment to meeting the aspirations of the government as well as their confidence in the system as an effective tool for enhancing and developing the quality of government services. The website of the Vatican, Vatican News, has lauded the official launch of the Declaration of the Kingdom of Bahrain in Europe from Rome, Italy. The website described the Bahrain Declaration as an important document that promotes religious tolerance and peaceful coexistence. It recalled the praise of His Holiness Pope Francis of the Bahrain Declaration during His Holiness's uh, historic visit to the kingdom last November. The Vatican also website also highlighted the launch of uh, the Bahrain Declaration in 2017 in Los Angeles in the presence of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and in Sao Paulo, pra Brazil in 2020. Vatican News indicated that the declaration consolidates the kingdom's role as an advocate of peace initiatives. It also affirmed uh, that the declaration carries the directions, object objectives, and messages of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa calling for religious tolerance and harmony.